For five years, they've been co-hosts of the pre-party, Saturday evenings on Metro FM. For a young Spanguenya, growing up here south of Durban in the 1990s, music was always his thing. The kings of the weekend, this is where it all began for you, right? So yeah, right here behind me is the first family home which we ever had. This way it all started in terms of the music and DJing, you know, mom with the soulful influences, dad with the gospel music. And then also, there used to be a huge sound system down there, like in each room. So whenever guys would go away, I'd kind of like get in there, plug everything in and teach myself how to DJ using hi-fis. Not even like DJ equipment, just hi-fis and making a huge noise, I'm sure, at the time. And Nate, you grew up in Soweto. I grew up partially in Soweto and in Whitbank and Malashe in Pumalanga, but the DJ bug only caught on to me much, much later on. Um, I think I was in Standard 9 or first year. A good friend of mine, Tembang Kosi, um, used to DJ a lot and he'd always be like, dude, we need a hip hop DJ at these events. Play some music. Please, please help me out. So that's how I got into it. Well, Naves, I heard you're a city boy, so I thought I'd take you gentlemen out into the wilderness. Oh, I'm worried about that. Should be fun, though. A five-star approach to the wilderness saw the Gorge Private Game Lodge and Spa win last year's World Luxury Hotel Award for Best Lodge. Owned by Katrina Klaassen, it perches right on the edge of the Oribi Gorge Nature Reserve, a breathtaking canyon rising from the Mzimkulwana River. Isn't this gorge just something else? Amazing. And check, there's buck over there. Oh yes, that's our resident bush buck. There's four of them, two big ones, two small ones, and they're very tame. I believe a lot's changed since top billing was last year. Yes, Jade, this whole building is actually new. Um, we've got a big restaurant now, we've got a lounge with a fireplace, we've got the bar, which is also quite a lovely lounging area and these magnificent views. Um, we've added on three additional rooms. There's also the wine cellar downstairs, which is lovely for private functions. The view is really what makes this place. Um, you will see in the morning there's a magnificent sunrise, in the evening the sun sets there in Hell's Gate. And if you wake up really early in the morning, you'll see the mist in the gorge. And as the mist rises, it really sets a tone for the day. Perched on the cusp of the impressive sandstone cliffs, the villas overlook the reserve. So whether you're taking a shower or cuddling up in your king-size bed, there's that magnificent view. It was time to get closer to this natural wonder of southern KZN. World's highest gorge. What have you done to us? <laughs> Exactly, you said teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, so then you need to tell us, team. <laughs> <laughs> you guys definitely have a bromance going on here, I see. Yeah, it's just kudos to all the hard work that we put in, man, you know, like throughout all the different facets of our business. I mean, there's the radio stuff, there's the TV stuff, there's the DJing around the world, there's the MCing around the world lately. I never thought that I, my voice would actually get me places. You know, there's uh, also, I mean, the, the new album that we just completed now I always knew at some point in my life I'd be behind the mic and rocking stages but You've always like wanted this to be a quite the star <laughs> finally mama I made it <laughs> <laughs> all right so just a quick right now what's going to be happening right firstly we're going to strap you folks up into a full body harness which supports you around the waist around the legs over the shoulders from there you're going to climb down our ladder it's roughly about a six meter ladder down to the next ledge from there you'll get strapped up to our what we call the jump ropes Right, we'll brief you on what's going to be happening. From there, you're going to either step off, or if you don't step off, we'll assist you off. <laughs> what then happens, you free fall for 75 meters. After the free fall, the rope obviously catches you, and you swing out in a big arc. You'll then come to a standstill, and we'll winch you back up to the top again. Hey, guys. The question is, who's going first? Shotgun, not me. The rules here say, ladies first, shotgun, no, not me. No, I was waiting for one of you to say that. Sh you shotgun, didn't say shotgun up there. You guys don't know how shotgun works. That's the problem. But I'm you saying say it sh now, shotgun. OK, fine. Let's do it like this. I'll go first, right? And in exchange, I'm getting window seats when we travel for the rest of the year. No. For the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it, I'll do it. For window seats, you've lost shotgun already. But that wasn't the point. Shotgun. Sensibly, no one had eaten before looking down this 55-storey drop. Aware that a certain expectation comes with his name, Spectacular couldn't afford to show any fear. Okay, so I'm excited. It's the second time in my life that I've ever, ever done this. 
Uh, and I want to get it right this time because that first two and a half seconds is most important, like when you're going down at 120 k's an hour and just that rush. So I've got the GoPro strap right here like to my chest so you guys can fully see like, all those facial expressions. And please can this not go on YouTube after this. Spectacular advises aspiring DJs to have something to fall back on, like his BCom accounting degree. But no one said anything about falling forwards. Three, two, one, jump! <laughs> I said from five! <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, jump! <laughs> Another cry had just been added to those of the 255 local bird species. We got it! I'm not doing this. <laughs> Get it. I guess that makes me next. This is one way to commune with the African fish, marshal and crowned eagles, which nest along this 30-kilometer landmark. What Jade did not want was to end up as fair game for the resident Cape vultures. Any tips? Enjoy it. Ever the professional, our presenter was in fact more concerned at getting the camera shot her director had asked for. Three, two, one, jump! Woo! Jade was getting her shots, while Naves was still nervously waiting. He's known for his sense of adventure, but trying to achieve terminal velocity by jumping off a cliff is a different matter entirely. <laughs> Look at you. His nerve has never abandoned him on TV, as a judge on the reality show Ones and Twos, or doing cameos on various series. But we could hear his teeth chattering. Just close your eyes, don't think, and just go. Stop looking down! What do you mean, stop looking down? Let go of the rocks, like, get, get off the rocks slowly. You'll be fine. Naves looked as unhappy as a child being dragged back to school after the summer holidays. I can't do this. You can do this. Don't chicken out now. Just relax, bro. Just one step forward. Step forward. You got this. There we go. There we go. You got this. You got this. Go, 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 He'd done it, but he didn't have to like it. Never again. <laughs> a game drive was a much better idea. Antelope are far less threatening than staring into that gorge. There's lots to see of the Mzimkulwana River up to the Hupu Falls. So, James, I've arranged a helicopter gorge ride for you. Oh, what's the catch this time? <laughs> and I think most importantly, the question I want to ask is to my left. Can you handle it this time? As long as we're not jumping out of the helicopter, I'm good. OK. <laughs> All right, The two of you have just released your album, The Kings oh, yes. of the Weekend. Yeah. I can share with you, like, this album is exciting for us because, firstly, it's our debut album. Secondly, it's the first album out of our label called Eminence Productions. And it was actually, most of it was done in our own studio. So for us, it's just like, ah, I can't believe we actually got this thing done. I mean, it's taken a good two years to finally get here, so we're very, very excited. What have been the highlights of your career? We did a show where we opened up for Drake. Yes. And uh, that night is the night that changed everything yeah. for us, so that will always remain a big highlight for us. Yeah, man. Plus, I think also just being, you know, headliners at most of the gigs that we play at, especially the big festivals, like where there's thousands of people that have come to see you, like you have like a DJ fresh, like before you have like a DJ Mosquito and Mikasa after you, and you write smack dab in the middle, and you have exactly the same reaction as well. So for us, it's very, very important. It's such a humbling blessing. Never afraid to stretch themselves, the guy's latest venture is into the business of transport. Going a little out of their comfort zone, they've started a company taking VIPs around the city to big gigs, and they're mixing with many celebs. Metro FM has really blown up your careers. Oh yeah, without a doubt, you know. I think uh, it's a dream come true for us, you know, like it's some legendary people that have come through Metro FM. So for us to be a part of that dynamic team, it's just amazing. And just the awesome responsibility, like I think as DJs, more anything else, of just breaking big songs. Definitely, and working there has also presented us with so many opportunities. I mean, we've uh, got to present awards, perform on the biggest stages around the country, so it's really been an amazing journey being at Metro FM. How does DJ Naves and Spectacular differ from Le Bohang and Sphere? Personally, Le Bohang is a far much more of an introvert, very shy, very quiet uh, guy, uh, whereas DJ Naves is a 
totally different character. <laughs> I tend to agree with that. I'm more like a nerd, you know, like I'm, like I'm happily sitting there crunching numbers and just working out like how things are going to work out, you know, being the romantic with the flowers and the roses and stuff. And then I put on like the suit and I become spectacular. That's, what, <laughs> that's all in the name. It's all right there and it's exactly what you get. Speaking of which, are there special ladies in your lives? In my life, yes, there is. In your life? Ah, no. Uh, I'm just taking time out to just work harder, eh? more than anything else, like, like with me. Are you sitting? Uh, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> <laughs> me and JD standing on a bridge. <laughs> 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 Artists usually draw their inspiration from their surroundings and we're high up on this bridge in this beautiful gorge. What song comes to mind? I think for me it's Toto's Africa. Uh, for me personally it's um, Spectacular and DJ Naves featuring Professor. The song is called KOTW Anthem. The first line on there goes Ying Kwishing Afa I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate self-made men, they've found the ideal creative and business partners in each other. Though Spectacular is still a little behind his collaborator on the romance side, he took this opportunity of the time and the setting to show that he won't be single for long. <laughs> oh, wow. Beautiful, eh? Amazing. <laughs> How incredible is this view? I mean, this view really showed that you deserve something special from me. Oh, really? Yeah. Got this for Aww, aren't you cute? <laughs> <laughs> Beat that, man. I need the strength, the amount of thirst going around here. <laughs> <laughs> there Thank we go. Thank you. And Thank that's you for much. me. It's incredible to watch your careers. Where do you want to see yourself in 10 years' time? I think personally, like, the way I see it, we have, like, an established um, event properties that don't really need us to be headlining them, like, anymore, you know, like, around the country. Also, a Kings of the Weekend DJ school kind of academy thing happening, like, around the country because we are serious about grooming the next generation of talent, you know, so that outlet for me is very, very important. I think more than anything, I see us being able to do more, give back more. Mm. Um, we'll be able to just make a change in the environments we live in and those that we affect. And have the biggest radio show in South Africa of all time. Well, I have no doubt you guys will do that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us and hanging out with us. Shout out to Top Billing, the kings of the weekend. Yeah, we had the time of our lives today. Thank you again, guys. Cheers, guys. Yeah.